I'm Ravi Sarathi, professor in the Strategy and International Business Department, and I'm going to be talking about the global uh, business and strategy concentration. This is a concentration intended primarily for students who are planning to do a dual degree in BSIB, the Bachelor of Science in International Business and International Affairs. The concentration combines both thinking about strategy at the level of a business, at the level of a multinational corporation, with an understanding of how nation states and governments uh, view companies, including multinationals, as agents of their own economic development and as agents of uh, uh, preserving their own national interests. In this concentration, you'll learn about uh, how companies can compete, uh, how they can be, differentiate themselves from other companies, and how they can be successful over a range of time. We'll also uh, understand and take uh, classes about uh, international policy making and uh, NGOs, the role of, say, the World Bank, uh, the IMF, uh, the European Union, uh, China, uh, etc. Students will begin by understanding the environment of international business, which means understanding differences in economic development, understanding uh, differences in culture, and how cultural differences affect uh, international business management and operation. The interesting thing about a combined major of uh, international affairs and BSRB is that it allows students to both work in policy uh, roles as well as in managerial roles. Thus, they could work for governments in setting international business and trade policy. They could work for NGOs, uh, such as the World Bank. Uh, they could work for global banks in thinking about how uh, international lending and bonds and uh, raising capital could be affected by changes in the international environment. They could, of course, work for companies and uh, think about their roles in uh, managing international business operations in helping develop strategy for the company, and they could also uh, have startups of their own uh, and think about how to raise capital internationally for their startups and how to develop strategy for their startups so that they exploit world markets, are able to leverage uh, global supply chains, and uh, thus uh, uh, expand their range of operations. If you're interested in policy making, you could work for various policy organizations and help think about and write papers and participate in research that helps understand better how the world is changing, how it affects international business. Uh, I think one of the most exciting trends today is the fact that COVID has ended and so international business has restarted, uh, travel has taken off, a lot more companies are beginning to expand once again into international markets, raise capital internationally, start developing uh, international partnerships, uh, start hiring people uh, from multiple countries. But there's also I think the interesting aspect of geopolitical rivalry. As you probably know, uh, there's growing rivalry between the US and uh, China, uh, there's a war going on in Ukraine, and these kinds of events clearly shape uh, how international business is going to be conducted. I think uh, students can learn about how these changing international geopolitical considerations affect uh, their own lives and how their careers might progress in this uh, developing world.